Greg Dunker here, News Talk 94.3 WKYX, talking with some uh, Ron Paul supporters. Uh, Pat, Pat Bryan, uh, one of the Ron Paul supporters from around here. Pat, you were telling me you were just up in New Hampshire uh, that, campaigning up there. That's correct. Uh, I was up in New Hampshire with uh, a part of a, a group called Operation Live Free or Die. Uh, which is supporters from all across the country that are they're going to New Hampshire to campaign. Um, Dr. Paul did a uh, interview at Google, and during that interview, one of the engineers at Google was so inspired he he resigned his job at Google to be able to set up this project. And so we're setting up houses, and then uh, where people, if they can just get themselves there, everything else they need is is there to campaign. New Hampshire is is a big bellwether. I mean, if Paul does well up there, it would bode well for the rest of the campaign. What kind of reaction were you getting out on the street up there? I would say uh, more than 50 percent of the people are still undecided. And in, in New Hampshire, uh, they're used to seeing the, the candidates come and speak to them. You know, we were handing out materials and say, you know, look him up on the Internet. And they say, well, well when's he coming? You know, he, we want to hear him talk. So uh, I can understand, I guess, you know, because some of the other candidates have uh, already been there and they're wondering, you know, we want to hear Dr. Paul speak. Yeah, personal appearance carries a lot of weight in New Hampshire. I know that there's a lot of foot traffic that uh, candidates usually do up there. Is he going to go up there and do some speaking? Oh, absolutely. He, I mean, he's going to be up there um, every week between now and the, the primary, which was is six weeks away. But, I mean, he's also trying to win the rest of the country, too, so he's a very busy man. Yeah, you see any difference in a political climate, say, just on the street in New Hampshire than around here in western Kentucky? Uh, yes. Um, in New Hampshire, there's a, a, a tremendous amount of people who refuse to affiliate with either party. They, they're very independent-minded. You know, they're, they really look at the issues, and they're, they're very um, eager to learn uh, all they can about all the candidates. Do they have an open primary in New Hampshire, or do they have it by party like we do here? They, that might account for that. Uh, they just changed it, I believe, to a closed primary. Um, so although, they've had here's, a history, here's, though, of that. Yeah, here's how it works. In, register in New like Hampshire, um, you're, if you're... Uh, an independent or a Republican, you can vote in the Republican primary. If you're a registered Democrat, you can't. Okay. So, but it's I can similar see if they, to us, if they had a history of open primaries. I could see where people wouldn't have that hard affiliation where they would look at just the candidate itself instead of being aligned with a party like that. They've got no. a history of that. Whereas here, we've got kind of a history of being aligned with a party no matter what. Yeah. But so, I think that's why most of them are, are registered independents, now because they is, can go either way. When is the New Hampshire primary? It's on January 8th. Are you going back up there? I am. <laughs> You've got a lot of time on your hands, don't you, I have Pat? A, I have vacation. All right. Pat Bryan with the uh, Ron Paul Group in uh, rally tomorrow evening at the Cherry Civic Center at 630.